The manhunt for a ported suspect ends in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Police in Cedar Rapids say 37-year-old Canyon Thixton was captured at a woman's apartment this morning. Authorities say tips led them to that apartment. Portage police allege he stabbed his girlfriend repeatedly in September in an unprovoked rage. And a warning, this story does contain images of her stitches. That victim tells Tony Galley there's finally relief. I still had stitches in my lip for like up to four weeks. Attempted murder victim Heather Lemon still recovers from nearly being killed in a stabbing. Obviously, it's something that will never go away. It's something that's part of me now. But she also knows her former boyfriend and alleged attacker, Canyon Thixton, is in custody in Iowa after five months on the run. What have the past five months been like for you, Heather? Torture. It seemed to always be a step ahead. Authorities say that included Thixton ditching his motorcycle after a police chase in Iowa months ago. They recovered the motorcycle. However, he continued to, to elude authorities. So Portage police had leads from the neighboring state. But once Thixton adopted an alias and was supporting that false identification, he dropped off their radar screen. But he did not become a phantom. In fact, he continued to communicate with someone. Thixton texted victim Heather Lemon. How many texts did you receive from him, did you say? Enough. It was more trying to make himself look like he was sorry about everything that happened. As far as any information that he was trying to dig up, I wouldn't give him any information. His texts, his run, are over. Heather Lemon's life is just beginning again. I just told myself one day, like, you got to move on. That move has been made less frightening. In Columbia County, Tony Galley, 27 News. Charges in connection to alleged crimes in Iowa are expected to be lodged against Thixton. Authorities in Wisconsin are preparing for his extradition here for attempted homicide.